Hello, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Sa so, may request si Sir Isaiah Gratil. Si Sir Isaiah Gratil nga ba? O, oh, tama. Uh, request ni Sir Isaiah Gratil. Nareakan ko daw itong video ng Nook Stop 5. Nakagawa na ba ako na reaction video sa Nook Stop 5? Nakalimutan ko na, pero sige, kung nakagawa man ako, ito try ko uli. Yung ano, do sa Nook Stop 5. Palitan ko nga yung kulay ng mic ko. Green. <laughs> so play natin to Nook Stop 5. Tingnan nga natin to men. Urban explorers from the YouTube channel Urbex Castronautica visit the historic La Plata Cemetery in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The cemetery was built in 1886 and is the final resting place of many notable figures. But while wandering through the huge cemetery's 12,000 tombs and vaults, the guys stumble upon a crypt that has been vandalized. Their camera captures something downright chilling. Most of cemetery nun dati, sobrang luma, ano. Tapos yung, alam nyo yung kabaong, ang itsura ng kabaong dati, yung, yung classical na, yung ganong shape. <laughs> yung Dracula shape na kabaong. Ito ito. Ito ito. Ito ito. Ito Eh, no que nyang clásico. No. Did you see it? No? Well, neither did the guys who filmed it. You see, after posting this video to YouTube, their sharp-eyed viewers were freaked out when they noticed a creepy little pale hand pulled back into an open coffin. Now it happened so quick that it's hard to see without brightening the footage and analyzing it frame by frame. But when the footage is converted to a ne negative image, the spooky little hand is a bit easier. Pero for me, parang ano siya eh. Ile ba subscribers ni itong YouTuber na to? Ano name niya? Or whatever ano. But when the footage is Sa akin parang CGI eh. I don't know ano, pero... And pulling back into an open coffin. Para siyang CGI men eh. Now it happened so quick that it's hard to see without brightening the footage and analyzing it frame by frame. But when the footage is converted to a negative image, the spooky little hand is a bit easier to see. Now it's very unlikely that anyone could have crawled into that coffin to fake this. This crypt... Ang liit ng kamay niya pati dun sa ano. Anyway, hindi, for me, CGI. Para sa akin, ha. Kasi, syempre, hindi mo naman, unang-una, hindi ko kilala yung YouTuber. It is very old and unstable. Pero kung totoo man to, creepy to. Pero... And it would be very dangerous for someone to just climb inside. So did this group of urban explorers accidentally capture proof of the paranormal? Well, as usual, you decide. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel. Urbex Castronautica. Oh, Ur Tinan nga natin. Uh, ilan ang ano niya dito? Uh-huh. 6,000... 6.35k subs. Pero... May sa akin parang si GI. Urbex Castronautica. Trapped. In this next video, a man is taking a short video of a car that he's planning to sell. The vehicle belonged to his sister. Ibang iba yung reaction ko ano? Kasi kadalasan si Boss Rino baka mamaya ah uh, de wait lang ah mag-usap muna tayo. Baka mamaya kasi uh, hindi kayo sanay sa ganitong reaction. May minig sabi kagabi. Lahat naman sa iyo peke eh. <laughs> Sabi ng ganun na nag-react. Eh kasi naman, ang ang tinitingnan natin dito yung possibilities kung paano pepekein. Debunker po kasi ako. Hindi pa hindi pa ako yung typical na ano na na reactionist na. Ko ano lang yung nararamdaman ko. Hindi naman hindi naman masama yung ginagawa ni 
ni ni Boss Rino pag nagre-react siya sa mga videos na ganito. Kasi siya reactionist, ang papanoorin mo sa kanya, yung reaction niya. Yung natakot ba siya? Natawa ba siya? Or ano? Yung sa akin kasi, gusto kong medyo lalima ng konti. ba diba? uh, Gusto kong offeran kayo ng, ng explanation kung sakali man na pepekein yung ganong bagay. Kasi sa panahon ngayon, men, hindi natin afford na lagi na lang tayong naniniwala. Sana naiintindihan yun. Ang gusto kong i-promote dito sa, sa social media ay critical thinking. Madalas po kasi dito sa social media, palagi na lang tayong nabibiktima sa mga fake news, di ba? sa mga misinformation. Di ba, bibigyan naman natin ng sarili natin na, ng time para magkaroon ng critical thinking. Yun naman ang pinopromote ko eh. Ngayon, kung mali naman ako, mali. Hindi naman sa lahat ng oras tama ako dito sa sinasabi ko. Hindi ako nagiging perfecto. Katulad nga nung, ano, nung, nung kahapon, may nabasa akong comment kay Sir Prosky Rivera. ba? Diba? Uh, gusto ko yun eh. Lagi niya akong kinokorek eh. Kasi ba diba, may, may, may diniscuss ako about illusion, delusion, tsaka hallucination. Nasabi ko kasi doon sa 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 abandoned hospital. Hallucination 'yun ang nangyari sa akin. Well, by definition pala hindi pala hallucination 'yun, illusion 'yun. Kasi meron naman talaga nakita doon sa do sa may bintana. 'Di ba? Then kinorek ako, 'di ba? Sabi mo, ano, minsan nagkakamali din ako. 'Di ba? Kaya nga hindi ko naman sinasabi na na lahat ng ng sinasabi ko dito ay Uh, yun ang tamang explanation. Bibigyan ko lang kayo ng, ng time na mag-isip na maaaring pwedeng ganun yung mangyari. Pero may mga time kasi na sure na sure na tayo kasi may evidence na, na fake eh. <laughs> diba? Yan, yan ang sinasabi kong kadalasan na na dapat nating ano, dapat nating bigyan ng pansin kasi sakit natin mga Pilipino pag may napanood tayo, naniniwala na agad. First line of defense natin ang pagiging skeptic sa lahat ng bagay para hindi tayo naluloko lagi. Di ba, men? Esther, who tragically passed away right inside the car over a year and a half ago. Hindi, hindi ko, ito, wait, wait lang. May dadagdag lang ako. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na pag, pag natuklasan yung peke, eh mag-withdraw na agad kayo na suporta. Kasi ang misconception kadalasan, uh, sinasabi sa akin ng mga supporter ng mga peking ghost hunter, hindi mo kami mapipigilan na suportahan ang idol namin. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na, ano, na natigilan yung suportahan yan. Ngayon, naihain ko na sa inyo na fake yung ginagawa nyo at nalaman nyo sa sarili yung fake. It's up to you na yun. ba? Diba? Kung, kung maaatim mong ululin pa yung sarili mo na suportahan pa yan, Nasa sayo yun. <laughs> Wala na ako doon. Basta sinabi ko siya, fake. Napatunayan kong fake sa harap mo. ba? Diba? Uh, ito yung ebidensya na fake. Yung gabi daw kinuha pero may payong na hindi naman umuulan. ba? Diba? Kasi ganito mga kababayan, ano, uh, paano nyo malalaman na fake ang isang bagay pag binabali niya yung logic ng napapanood nyo? Nagigets nyo? Paano, paano nababali yung logic ng napapanood nyo? Ang logic kasi, yun yung reason behind kung bakit ginagawa ang isang bagay. ba diba? Kapag walang logic, matik yun, pwede mong isipin na fake yung napapanood mo. For example, ganito, ano? Uh, yung logic behind kung bakit ka nagsisipilyo. Ano? Para malinis yung ngipin mo, di ba? E nakita mo, nagsisipilyo siya pero wala naman siyang ngipin. May logic ba yon? Nagsusuklay siya pero kalbo naman siya. May logic ba yon? Doon pa nga lang mahahalata niya, katulad nung pinanood natin kagabi. May payong gabi, hindi naman umuulan. May logic ba yon? Doon pa nga lang huling-huli na peke yun eh. Nagigits nyo ba? Kapag ka, yun ang first tip ko, pag balik yung logic dun sa video, peke na yun. Katulad nung ano, halimbawa, uh, nagmumotor si, si Sardonsky. Bababa siya dun sa waterfalls, no? Ang tagal-tagal niya dun sa waterfalls nang wala naman siyang sinasabi masyado. 
paulit-ulit yung sinasabi niya. Then suddenly, naging ready. Wala kasing logic yung pagtigil niya sa waterfalls eh. Di ba li sana kung uh, natigil siya sa waterfalls para i-admire yung ganda nung, nung lugar. Pero paano mo ma-admire yung ganda ng lugar? Ang dilim-dilim. Tapos nagkwento ka lang na yun ay kusina ng palasyo. <laughs> di ba? Then suddenly, uh, uh, ano ka na agad? aalis ka na kasi nga nakaset up na yung yung white lady mo then ang ginawa mo inulit mo uli nakapunta ka na doon na admire mo na yung lugar doon ka na naman uli tumigil sa waterfalls di ba tumingin-tingin ka na naman sa waterfalls nagset up na naman yung white lady mo uli doon may logic ba yon walang logic di ba inulit mo uli yung ginawa mo sana naiintindihan niyo mga men no yun lang naman ang ano yun lang naman ang gusto kong Uh, ay ano sa inyo, inuulit ko ha, wait, wait, inuulit ko, hindi ako perfecto. ba? Diba? Nararamdaman ko, yung mga nanonood sa akin ay matatalino din naman. Alam kong gets nyo yon. Kaya lang, minsan kasi, ang humaharang na sa inyo yung pride nyo eh. ba? Diba? Yung mga nanonood sa akin, pride na yung humaharang sa kanila. Katulad nung may nag-comment sa akin, ano, ang sabi niyang ganon, mas peke ka pa nga, da kasi nakamaskara ka. I mean, paano naging peke ang nakamaskara? Kailan ba nagiging peke ang nakamaskara? <laughs> Di ba? Hindi, hindi ko naiintindihan. I, parang, ibig sabihin, ang argument natin, yung video, bakit napunta sa maskara ko yung ano, pride na lang kasi yun eh. Nahihiya kayong i-admit na napatunayan kung peke yung iniidolo nyo. Di ba? Pambihira kayo. After sending the footage to a potential buyer, he gets an alarming message saying he should really check the video closer. Hey man, here's this. Uh, here's my sister's car. Just wanted to make this video so you can have a look at it. She still runs good. Uh, she's a little dirty. She has a lot of miles on her. But uh, it could clean up nice. Here's the front. And a little back. Here's some of the back. Katulad nito, no? I don't know. Uh, if you're interested, just... Uh, so, ang purpose daw na itong video na to, bagamat meron naman siyang purpose, di ba? Ano yung purpose ng video niya? Pakinggan natin, ha? Tamo, ha? Closer. Hey, man. His sister, who tragically passed away right inside the car over a year and a half ago. After sending the footage to a potential buyer, he gets an alarming message saying he should really check the video closer. So, yun ang istorya daw. Sinend daw sa buyer yung video. Meron naman siyang reason na na-establish kung bakit siya nagbibideo. Pero, ang hindi ko naiintindihan din sa video na to, hindi pang buyer to, eh. Hey, man. Here's this, uh, here's my sister's car. ba? Diba? So, itong video na to, ito yung kuha sa camera. Parang hindi ko naman nakikita yung car dyan eh. I wanted to make this video so you can have a look at it. She still runs good. Uh, she's a little dirty. Wala naman tayo nakikita doon sa video. Then biglang may umiiyak na agad. A lot of miles on her. But uh, I can clean up nice. Here's the Wala tayo nakikita doon sa video. is supposed to be dapat pag-video yun, lahat ng details. Pero bali yung logic, man, eh. Ano bang naintindihan mo dyan sa kotse na yan? I'm back. Wala ka nakikita. Here. Yung details ng kotse, hindi mo makita. Feeling ko ano to. Feeling ko parang uh, pinatungan lang ng iyak. I don't know. Uh, din sa wish you yung nag-explain. If you're interested, just uh, let me know what you think. Throughout the footage, the faint sound of a woman crying can be heard. The video was shared online by These Dark Adventures and quickly gained nearly 500,000 views. In the video comments, many concerned viewers believe that the voice belongs to the spirit of the man's sister who passed away inside the car and that her soul is still trapped. Unable to move on.
Motorcycle Mystery. In the city of Cagayan de Oro in the Philippines, a motorcycle ah, ito yung, ano, ito yung natin last rider time. is driving down a busy road that is notorious for being the site of many fatal accidents. He is about to experience something that is truly bizarre. Discuss ko na to. Uh, di umano parang may nabangga siya. Pero never niya naman pinaling yung camera sa right side eh. ba? Diba? Tsaka if ever man na may nabangga ka, feeling mo may nabangga ka, titigil ka, kaya nawala yan o hindi. Halimbawa, nabangga mo eh. Na-feel mo nabangga mo. Siyempre, titigil ka, titingin ka kung nasan ba yung nabangga. Pero hindi niya, hindi niya ginawa eh. Feeling ko na, nakalampas na yon yung tumawid na yon. Walang paranormal dito. So, yun, Someone appears to jump right into the motorcycle's path, but when the rider looks back, there's no one there. Wala. But he sa bandang kanan hindi naman pinakita. It's even weirder because the motorcycle rider claims that whoever this was, they didn't appear to have a face, only a strange dark blur. Now many locals believe that the rider saw the ghost of someone who passed away on the dangerous road. But if this wasn't anything supernatural, Then just what happened here? Let me know what you think. Open House Ready user slash realtor Sandra is recording a tour of a 1960s bungalow style home to show prospective buyers. Sandra is filming at night in order to showcase the house's interior lighting. But it's starting to get a bit late at the creepy little cottage. And things are about to get weird. Wow, it's 10 a.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful May hinihintay ako eh. Go ahead, do it again. You're on camera. Sound eh, no? Patakot yung sound eh. Open this door. Kaya kahit may pera ako, hindi talaga bibili ng second hand na bahay. <laughs> Baka may Go ahead, free. May free yung kasama. <laughs> open this door like you know. Forward na natin ano yung review ni Nux. Ano 
lag, lag. A door suddenly swings open on its own and Sandra is spooked. But she gathers her courage and rushes out to see what's going on. A glass of water sitting on top of the fireplace shifts and slowly moves as if it's being pushed by some invisible force. But things get even crazier as a smoke detector suddenly starts to beep before crashing violently to the floor. With that, Sandra has had enough and just... Well, ako, ako naman, ang, ang opinion ko dito mga men, di ba? Nangyayari kasi yung ito, yung dalawa mo na explain ko, yung smoke detector na nalaglag at yung pinto. Nangyayari kasi yun na hindi natin nakikita kung saan ang gagaling. Katulad na itong pintuan. Pwede kasi, pwede ha, hindi ko sinabing pwede. Eh, hindi, hindi ko sinabing yun na nangyari, pero pwede. Pwede kasi may nagbukas nun, uh, tinulak niya. Pwede. Yung, ano, yung smoke detector kasi nalaglag. Alam ko, pag, kung smoke detector yun, ano, wait lang ha, nasa na ba nalaglag na smoke detector? Wag muna tayong dito sa basa. Dito sa basa medyo tricky. Easier as a smoke detector suddenly starts to beep before crashing violent. Mm. Ang smoke detector dito sa may pintuan na laglag. Usually kasi uh, nilalagay yung smoke detector ya sa gitna ng room. Bakit sa may sa may pintuan yan babagsak? Ibig sabihin may may <laughs> may someone na naglaglag niyan sa harap ng pintuan. Walang logic. Doon ba na doon ba nakalagay yung smoke detector sa ano? Wala pa ako naririnig na naglagay ng smoke detector sa, sa ano sa malapit sa pinto. Dapat niya nasa gitna ng room 'yan eh. Sir. Diba? As a smoke detector. So, no, only starts to beep before crashing. Ba- 'Di ba? From the pinto nag ano eh nalaglag eh. Well, may nakakabit man ng smoke detector na malapit sa pinto. At uh, ito naman, ang hindi ko ma-explain, pero kinda, kaya kong explain Yung, ano, yung... Slowly moves as if it's being pushed by some invisible force. But things get even crazier. Feeling ko yung glass hindi naman gumalaw eh. Sa movement ng camera ni ate yun eh. Pero gumalaw ba yung tubig? May tubig ba? Pushed by some invisible force. But things get even crazier. Wala! Feeling ko ano eh. Tsaka isa pa, kung halimbawa kung gla- kung gumalaw yung glass, no? Wait lang ha. Kung gumagalaw yung glass. So ito lang kita natin may Starbucks dito. Nakape. Come on, just move the glass or something. Parang ano eh, alam niya na kung saan niya, ano, pinansin niya agad yung glass nang wala, wala pang nangyayari eh. Then nung pinansin niya yung glass, may nangyari na, ano to, bogus to. For me ha, for me bogus tong video na to. Or kung gumalaw man yan, hindi ko alam kung paano. Pero hindi ko naiintindihan bakit mo pinansin yung baso, ano meron dyan sa baso. Okay lang sana kung pinansin mo yung baso na yan, eh gumagalaw na. Pero hindi eh. Hindi pa naman siya gumagalo, pinansin mo na agad yung baso eh. Parang may anticipate, may anticipation ka na. Alam mo, ina-anticipate mo na may mangyari. ba? Diba? Nagigets nyo ba ako? Yun lang naman, next video. <laughs> next video tayo, next, 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 next. But there's also something else that is very creepy in this doon, video. Ha? Something that only a few viewers even notice. So again, I ask... Did you see it? Right before the door moves, a face in the picture right beside Sandra seems to slowly darken. Ah, wala, wala. And the creepy little shadow fades away just as the door swings open. Sandra says that she's experienced several unexplained paranormal events in this home, but this was... Wala, ano to? Uh, hindi, walang logic behind kung ba't magaganan. It's the first time that she finally captured it on camera. We need scary video. Deb said next, one next. night a TV is playing a cartoon in the child's bedroom, but the flickering light from the screen reveals something that the Reddit user and his mom simply can't explain. Something that is downright creepy. I'm in a couple.
Someone seems to be seated in the chair. A small pale face illuminates in the flashing light from the TV screen. Ngayon, for me, paano pepekein? Doon tayo sa paano pepekein. Hindi ko sinasabi fake to, pero paano pepekein yan? Then the power of, ano, power of cut to cut. Diba? Power of cut to cut yan, man. Ako din, gagawin ko rin, ha? Paano ba... Paano ba, uh, ito, kasi may, may abala itong headset ko eh. ba? Diba? Gagawin ko rin yan, ba? Diba? Power, dito sa upuan ko. O, oh, diba? Katukat lang naman yan eh. Although medyo madumi itong sa akin, ng pagkakagawa ko, pero, you get the point. Unang-una, static yung, yung video niya, hindi naman gumagalaw. Tapos sinasabay, para hindi mahalata yung pagkakatukat, sinasabay sa sa paghina ng ano ng ng ilaw. 'Di ba? Kayang ano, sa akin kung kayang gawin, hindi para normal. <laughs> The face just disappears. Oh, sinasabay sa ano yung ano eh, sinasabay sa flicker ng light yung cut to cut eh. Reddit user Cybseb wonders if his mother's security camera accidentally captured a paranormal presence. Next, black home to Fond du Lac, Saskatchewan, Canada. Suddenly, Florissa spots something very odd in the night sky. It's just, it looks like a UFO, UFO, right? That's a UFO! Christian! It's just, just staying right there. Look, it's just above there. Are you recording it? Yeah. 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 Eyewitness reports in the thread go all the way back to January 1990. So just what could this mysterious flying object be? Let me know what you think. Di ba drone yan? Kaya lang may ilaw ba ang drone? Think down in the comment. Or something na may test flight yan ng kahit anong bagay? Whatever ano. Di naman buro to. Nick Perry says that late one night he was driving down the allegedly haunted Dyers Lane Road in Roseville, California. He says that he saw an ominous dark shadow figure appear in the middle of the road. Nick believes that this dark entity followed him home and says that he now experiences terrifying paranormal activity. So back in 2022, Ito, it says ter- isa sa mga, Nick believes that this is among the ayokong style na mga na may make ng video. Yung halimbawa, pag nag-set up sila ng camera, palaging may space dito sa kanan. This dark entity Ganon. followed him home and says that he now... Diba? Parang laging may space dito sa kanan. Parang sinasadya nila na, na makunan, no? Isa yan sa mga ayokong ano eh. Ayokong style ng... Well, tingnan muna natin itong video na to. ...experiences terrifying paranormal activity. So, back in 2022, I shared Nick's story on Nuke's Top 5, along with some of the scary footage that he had captured. Oh, eh, naman tong katok na to. Baka naman talaga may gumagawa lang sa bahay. Now, in the last two years since those videos were recorded, Nick Perry has moved to a new house in a new city, but he believes that the dark entity has followed him. Just got home, and uh, as I was walking in, I heard some banging noises in here. So that's why I'm setting up the camera right now to find out who the f- it is. Max, shut up! Hey, nobody here. Set up na agad min eh. 
Wala. Hindi, for me, ha? It has up against the f***ing wall. For me, nakaset up na yun, eh. Tatanong nyo kung paano nagawa yun. Hindi. Pero parang kasi, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na, ano, parang ready-ready na agad. Ito, ha? Tinan mo. Yung aso doon, <laughs> Naka-standby na rin. Siguro may nagtitain doon sa aso doon. Diba? Pagka... Parang handa na agad. Eh, hindi ko nakikita yung logic na bukas yung pinto habang nagsasalita ka. Diba? So, that's why I'm setting up the camera right now to find out you know, who the f*** is. Max! Shut up! Tapos yan, o. Oh. Biglang handa na agad siya na, na mayroong makikitang shadow dito. Parang napaka-convenient nung, ano, nung uh, lugar. Napaka-convenient nung, ano. Ngayon, paano niya ginawa yon Hindi ko alam. Pero napaka-convenient lang talaga ng ng positioning ng camera. Nick decides to leave several cameras recording when he's away from home. When he reviews his footage, he is shocked. Bukas na naman yung ano, pinto. Nagre-rep yung multo, ano? Nick says that he's reached out to several churches and religious authorities. Laging ganyan eh, nasa may pinto eh, tapos pagtapos na yung activity, But sa kanya kukunin yung camera, sa kanya. Di ba, man? Helped him. As of today, Nick says that he continues to experience paranormal events in and around his home. He hey, shares his darkness. Don't get me wrong, ha? hindi ko sinasabing hindi totoo to. Pero yung... Kasi nga, hindi ko din naman na-debunk. Kung halimbawa, may gumalaw man dun sa... Ano. Pero dito, pwedeng mangyari kasi dito sa may ref. ba diba? Sige, isa-isahin natin. Dito kasi sa may ref kasi, may counter dito eh. Pwedeng nandito yung isang nakatago. Then yung... ba diba? Halimbawa, sa isang kwarto, pwedeng itulak yung pinto na nag-slide na yan. Diba? Pwede kasing mangyari. Ang, nangy- ang, ang red flag dito, number one, laging convenient ang positioning ng camera. Hindi itong tinanim, ha? Okay lang yung tinanim na yan. Number two, palaging hindi natin nakikita sa camera kung saan nang gagaling yung paggalaw. ba? Diba? Parang ang nakikita natin, gumagalaw muna sa kanya lang dadamputin ng camera at lalapit. Ang, ang isa pang trick, katulad nito, no? Katulad nito, yung gumalaw yung ano, ito din yung napansin ko dun sa may sa may video do sa babae na nakasleeveless. Pag gumalaw yung pintuan, katulad nito, no? Pag gumalaw yung pintuan, hindi na siya bumabalik. Parang isang galawan lang talaga siya dapat. ba diba? Katulad dito sa may, sa may pinto, ah, alam nyo, ina, kaya nga nakalimutan ko lang sabihin kanina eh. Ito kanina doon sa may babae na to. Diba, bumukas yung pinto. May sinabi ako kanina dyan eh, may inaabangan ako eh. Kaya lang hindi nangyari inaabangan ko. Alam niyo inaabangan ko? Inaabangan ko na bumalik yan. Magsara uli. Kaya lang hindi nangyari yun kasi nga, isang tulak lang yan. For one galawan lang. Kasi pagka bumalik yan, mahahalata na na may hihila. <laughs> For me ah, Parang ganun din yung nangyari dito eh. Isang galawan lang to eh. ba diba? isang, isang galawan lang to. Yung ref, ba diba? O sige. O bakit yung ref bumukas tapos sumara uli? Ganyan talaga nakadesign ang mga pinto ng ref. Bumabalik talaga yan. Kahit kayo may ref kayo sa bahay, buksan nyo. Tapos bitawan nyo. Bumabalik talaga yan. Kasi nakadesign yun para laging nakasara yung ref. 
Nagets nyo? Pero itong ano men, itong pintuan na nabubukas. Pwede kasi itulak lang 'yan eh. Pag tinulak mo, yan, bakit hindi na siya bumalik kung may polter guys talaga, 'di ba? churches and religious forward na natin. Uh, mimic Leandro from Buenos Aires, Argentina says that he began to experience strange unexplained events only weeks after moving into his new home. He says that he would often discover that many of his belongings had been inexplicably moved into the house's bathroom. Leandro installed a security camera to see what's been going on. But late one night, he captures something more than he bargained for. Ito ha. <laughs> Dito pa nga lang medyo ano na ako eh. Medyo halata na ako dito men eh. Di ba? So, para sa akin, unang-una, hindi ka ba naglalak ng kwarto mo? Sige. Di ba? Hindi, hindi ka naglalak ng kwarto mo. Meron naman talagang hindi naglalak ng kwarto. Pangalawa, may CCTV ka sa kwarto mo? For what? Paano kung may private kang ginagawa dyan? Or may ano, isi-CCTV mo? O sige, sa di malamang dahilan, uh, nagkabit siya ng CCTV. Kasi siguro, may history na nang nangyayaring ganyan. ba diba? Gusto niya lang makapture sa video. Ang hindi ko lang matitake dito, pagbukas ng ano, ng pintuan, standby na agad yung cellphone niya. Naka-standby na agad yung cellphone niya, Ah, uh, ready na siyang mag-video agad. Sa akin, red flag yun, min. Or talagang hinihintay niya? Hindi, pwede rin naman, ano? Halimbawa, kung talagang hunted yung bahay, hinihintay niya talaga may mangyari, kaya nakahanda na yung cellphone niya. Pero ayo tanggapin ang utak ko, eh. <laughs> Parang, di ba? So, ito pa. Isa pang pagkakamali dito, yung pag-transition ng ano, pag-transition ng, ba diba? So, supposed to be, bumukas ito, ano? Bumukas yan. So, supposed to be, nagbi-video siya. Eh, bakit dito sa, ano, dito sa CCTV video, hindi naman naka-on yung, ano, yung video mo. Ayan yung mga icons ng cellphone mo, oh. ba diba? Tapos nung, nung pag-transition mo na dyan, biglang nagbi-video na. Baka pinrest niya yung video, ano? May ano, may cut-to-cut yun, men. May cut-to-cut dito sa ano niya. Tingnan nga natin kung makakapture natin yung cut-to-cut. Dali lang, ha? Uh, playback speed is slow ko nga. Diba may gumagalaw sa loob ng shower curtain? At sinong, sinong ano, mag-iiwan na nakasara ang shower curtain? May katokat siya. For me, no? Nung hinawi niya yung ano. Punta! Katulad niyan, ano? Leandro is completely unnerved by the strange paranormal experience. Sina mo, yung cellphone niya naka-off pa rin. Hindi, hindi nag-video yung cellphone niya. Di ba? Debunk na to, man. Hindi, naka, hindi nag-video yung cellphone niya eh. After galing niya sa banyo, yung cellphone niya, ganun pa rin, hindi nag-video. Pero para, paano niya na-videohan yun? Di ba? Leandro is completely unnerved by the strange paranormal experience. He decides to check into the history of his new home for answers. He is horrified when he discovers that in the 1950s, a family of four passed away in a tragic fire on the very same land where his house now sits. Another night and Leandro has his friend Daniel over. And once again, it goes sideways. Yeah. 
Wala, ano to? Fake to. Ito nasa bintana. Wait, hindi nyo pala nakita. Sorry. Meron sa bintana naglalakad daw. Wala to, men. Biglang tumakbo eh. A mysterious white figure can be seen passing by the window just outside Leandro's home. Then the items sitting on the nightstand get launched into the air by an invisible force. Mindanao levels to. This one, then the spirit that haunts his house actually begins to imitate. Yeah, no, the new one. This is what I feel with what I've been living for years. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Begin to imitate or mimic the sound of his friend Daniel's voice. Son las tres de la mañana de nuevo. Esto es lo que yo, con lo que yo convivo desde hace meses. Con esto yo convivo hace meses. Siempre que grabo. Vos no sos Daniel. Vos no sos Daniel. Esa no es tu voz. Vos no sos Daniel. Esa no es tu voz. Daniel se fue hace meses del país. Vos no sos Daniel. Si querés lastimarme, salí y lastimame ahora. Ya. Déjame de joder. Por favor, por favor. Déjame de joder. Diba? May cut na naman, ano? May, may cut to cut na naman nung binuksan niya yung pinto. Tinan mo. Joder. Boom, nag cut to cut. Diba? Mahahalata mo yung cut to cut eh. Playback speed natin. Uh, 0.25. Bubuksan niya yung pinto Dejame joder Dejame joder Bubuksan niya o Boom! May cut to cut, di ba? Nakita niyo yung ano Madilim na part Wala to It's fake Fake, fake. Forward na natin. Wala na kredit. Siya na po. Ayan na naman yung naglalakad sa labas. Oh, may cut to cut na naman. Pambihira. Wala na yan. A woman named Kat lives in a remote area near the woods in Pennsylvania. One freezing cold morning around 4 a.m., Kat wakes up to find a light dusting of snow covering the ground outside. But then she notices something just outside her back door. Something truly disturbing. Good morning, guys. It is literally 5 a.m. And I opened the back door to put some dry food out for the stray kitties. And there are people feet printed all over my deck in the snow. Do you see this? They start over there. Kailangan talaga, And ano yun, no? walks up to the table. There's nothing coming up to the... Maybe there is something coming up to the door. Kailangan talaga, nakapaa talaga, What? ano? Kitang And I don't see any pa. in the yard. What is this? I see them kind of coming out of the flower bed. They stop there. I thought maybe they would have walked off through that flower bed, but I don't see anything there. It's like one straight line from out in the yard up to the door turned around towards the table and then just stopped moving that one has like one two three four like six toes that's six to so is that one one two three four five it is 16 degrees out i have not gone outside yet my cat came and woke me up hysterical probably because there was some barefoot person on the deck i'm just more concerned about like a mental health crisis because there's no reason to be out there barefoot Now, for obvious reasons, Kat is a bit freaked out, but she's also worried that someone might be experiencing a mental health crisis and is wandering around in the freezing cold with no shoes. She calls the police, but she's reassured that no one has been reported missing or lost, and there have been no reports of trespassers or break-ins in the area. Kat is concerned, but she's done all she can, and she just lets it go. But almost two weeks later, the mysterious footprints are back. Okay, morning footprint update. <clears throat> Let me show you. This is the first time we've had snow since the initial footprint sighting. Do you see that? 
they're barefoot again. They're in a different spot than... Kailangan talaga kung saan may snow dun siya maglalakad, no? Para makita. <laughs> Look at my shadow. So those prints are in a different spot than when we had prints uh, before. Oh. Let's go downstairs. It is 7 o'clock. Uh, I've been up since 4.30. I... Before nothing. And stay right along the side so I don't interfere those are definitely very bare human feet but there are not six toes on these that I can tell I don't know no though those are very clear toes right there so the house next door has nobody living in it so I'm not sure why the prince would be coming from that deck mysterious barefoot stranger hasn't returned yet so could this be something supernatural or Wala, ano yun? Di naman Tunner sh extremely haunted as his live stream audience watches Shaolong begins paano, paano yung, ano, yung foot na yun, yung footprint hindi naman natin nakikita kung ano yun eh tsaka hindi naman paranormal yun na may mag malay mo meron siyang stalker or someone na na magkukos nun di ba Hindi naman siya paranormal talaga. Hindi lang alam kung ano yung nagkukos nun. To hear unexplained noises from somewhere in the building. He's a little on edge as he goes to check out the strange sounds. What happens next is... Ito, halimbawa, ito si Shaolong ano. Uh, napapanood ko na rin to dati na na-feature dito. Ang maganda kasi dito, kung, kung ha, kung namimake man siya, napakagaling. Kasi minsan, di ba, nag explore yan live. Di ba? Live siya, nag explore minsan eh. Mahirap yun kung pepekein mo. Just watch. Shaolong gets the fright of his life because of a plastic statue head. But luckily, Shaolong delivers a good old-fashioned slap upside the head to put that statue back in line. But things are about to get a bit more serious and a bit more frightening. As Shaolong explores deeper into the haunted school, this happens. Nga naman yung bola, ano? Ito, ito yung prime example. Ako, hindi pa naman convinced na totoo. Pero, may chance na totoo. Kasi nga, di ba, nakikita natin from nakatigil yung bola sabay gagalaw. Pero hindi ko sinasabing imposibling fake, ha? May chance na totoo. Ito kasi yung gusto kong makita. Yung from nakatigil, nakikita natin hanggang sa gumalaw. Kalimitan kasi sa mga fake, ano, nang gagaling yung ano eh. nanggagaling yung mga bagay sa ibang lugar eh. Dito kasi kitang-kita natin from nakatigil umandar yung bola. Kaya lang, may daan naman pala doon bakit uh, doon pa siya nagpipilit. Red flag na naman sa akin 'yon. <laughs> Meron palang daan sa gilid, ba't nagpipilit ka dun sa pinto na yon Ano yun, para ma-videohan mo yung bola? Di ba, men? Tinan mo, ha? Okay na sana, eh. Alimbawa, ito, let's say, pinipilit niya buksan yung pinto, no? Di ba? So, parang obvious dito, talagang sinasadya niya lang videohan yung bola. 
Ngayon, kung paano niya napagalaw yon nang walang kumukontrol, hindi ko alam. Pero sa akin kasi, you know, parang sinadya mong videohan yung bola na kung totoo si naman pala, meron naman palang ibang daanan, biglang alam mo na pwede ka naman pala dumaan sa kabilang gets nyo? Ay, nako. Tungor natin. Nando? Chinese A small ball inside a classroom rolls across the floor by itself. So, Shalong chucks it out a window. But then the lights hanging from the ceiling come crashing down, almost hitting Shalong. Now, luckily, the ghost hunter made it out safe, but he's not done just yet. Inside one of the school's many rooms, he finds a dirty old mirror. And this is when his exploration takes a terrifying turn. May reflection doon. Mukhang may katokat ah. Anyway. Ano na natin review ni Nox? But when he swings around in terror, there's no one there. After an attempt at kicking and flailing at the invisible entity, Shaolong finds that the reflection of the figure has disappeared. But now he spots a shadowy face peeking in from a window, and a heavy closet comes crashing down right in front of him. The activity is becoming a little too intense. So Shaolong decides to leave and ends his live stream. You can see even more. Ah, live! Kung live yun, mahirap pikiin yun. Pero hindi ko sinasabing, ano, no? Hindi ko sinasabing, ah, uh, hindi siya totoo. Mahirap lang pikiin pag live. Well, talent niya yun, ano, kung mapipikiin niya. Pero, too good to be true kasi, eh. Parang... Okay lang siguro sa isang vlog niya, may nangyaring ganyan ka-intense, the next time, walang mangyayari din. Ano. Pero kung laging nangyayaring ganun, parang, ba diba? So far, dito sa video ni Nox na to, mga kababayan ko, ang medyo believable lang dito yung UFO. Ito, itong UFO. ba diba? Play ko nga. Ba't ayaw na mag-play? Bagal tuloy. Anyway, so, magiisang oras pa ta. Everyone is shocked as they witness a strange circular object with flash. Pero hindi hindi ko siya sabing alien to ah. Baka hindi lang natin talaga ma-identify kung ano yan. Di ba? Pero kung sa believable din lang naman, ito yung pinaka-believable sa akin na video. 
Anyway, mga kabayan ko, yan lang po muna. Maraming salamat. Bye-bye.